Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am herping and derping all over the place today. So we know from the information ah! we recovered from the Bahar system that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a Riemann settlement. I am not ready for you yet. Go away. Stop it. Okay. So, as I was saying, yeah, crazy day, but we will get through this together because together we are stronger. We are as one. We are Captain Planet! Okay, that makes no sense. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, I have done things on Ensign Ricky since the last time you saw him. Um, we finished the last, or uh, not the last, we finished um, Mine Enemy in the last episode. And to get to Frozen, I needed to be level 36, and I was only still level 35 when I finished Mine Enemy. So I had to do some stuff off camera. And that basically means I ran through a bunch of um, explore missions I did on the map, if we look at the map. I did explore three systems in the um, Kazan cluster. I did three systems in the Aphir Nebula, and I did three in the Aridin Belt. So I did all that. I even did a Sector Red Alert, Borg Red Alert, just to go ahead and do one, because why not? And the goal of doing all of that was to bump me up past level 36 and get me to level 37 where I'm at now. And the reason for that is so that we can play these missions and I don't have to worry about leveling up again. So I'll play Frozen and it will, you know, give me plenty of skill points and then, you know, each one will give me enough that I won't have to go do extra stuff to play the next one. So we can finish out the whole Romulan storyline without me having to do any extra stuff now. Basically that's all. I just wanted to get to a point where I didn't have to do extra stuff off camera, but I could just run through all of the rest of the uh, Romulan stuff and get it done before we hit Cardassian stuff. And I also had um, put some uh, uh, DOF missions in action. And one of them, I should, this one here, um, <laughs> had like plus 60% quality reward, and it is a success. Um, incredible uh, that I got a success on that because the casualty risk was high. Um, but yet I should have a pretty big reward just from this. Let's see what happens here. Collect reward. Meh. I got 577 uh bridge officer points. Eh, five dilithium ore. That wasn't much. Let's see, this one gave me a little bit and that one gave me a little bit. Ah, uh, not too great on those, but, you know, we'll keep adding them as we go through. Okay. And also, I started putting skill points into the next thing I wanted to put into, which was starship shield performance. So my hull plating is maxed out. And my shield performance is will be soon. So if we look at my hole right now, I've got like uh, I've got a forty thousand hole, which is really good. So pretty uh, tough ship now, and I got the uh, shields beefed up. My power is at seventy four on the shields, just by default. So really cool. I also put on the uh, scorpion fighters put them in the device section so we have uh, 50 times that we can launch um, these uh, scorpion fighters to help us if we need if we need it and we probably won't too much but I'll launch them a couple of times just to show you what that looks like and yeah so it's time to do the next one called frozen so, let's let's see what she has to say about it. We know it. from the information you recovered from the Vahar system that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dara system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. This may be a completely internal matter, and if so, the Prime Directive will come into play. We will not be able to interfere. 
But if there is an outside influence directing these matters, and we must is. know what it is. Yes. Our encounters with the Undine and the Changelings have proven that there are entities attempting to move the powers of the Quadrant like pieces in a cal toe game. It is essential to protecting the Federation to see these attempts for what they are and counter them. I want you to go to the Dara system and learn more about the Riemann Uprising. The Riemanns will have hidden their base, so you may have to use subterfuge to find it. One more thing. I realize this is a dangerous situation and that you may be drawn into conflict, but do not antagonize the Remans or the Romulans if you can avoid doing so. We are already at war with the Klingon Empire. I would prefer to avoid another extended conflict. Actually, we are not at war with the Klingon Empire because of the current state of the game with the Borg. Um... There's an there's actually sort of a Klingon and Starfleet alliance um, called um, I think it's that's the uh, that's what the Omega thing is for um, where we're fighting the Borg. But um, obviously this story was written before all of that, so technically it thinks there's still a war, but it doesn't matter anyway. Um, we will get a Romulan Disruptor wide beam pistol or a Romulan Disruptor split beam. So this is the first mission that lets you get a Romulan weapon. Very, very awesome. The um, split beam rifle is pretty cool and the uh, the uh, Disruptor is pretty fun. So you could like equip, put all your um, bridge officers, you could like replay this mission and give them all, um, you know, this wide beam Disruptor or split beam, whatever. Pretty cool weapons to have. So we gotta go to the Dara system, and if, as usual, it's all in Cyvalorum, so let's head there. So, as you were listening to that, there are um, possible people out there pulling strings directing enemy factions into doing things for them and um, at this point I'll let you guess who that might be but uh, I'm not going to tell you I think we might find out in this episode I forget but um, it's kind of obvious but um, I'll uh, let you guess until we find out for sure so um, that's a storyline that they have ongoing that is still not resolved and hopefully one day we'll have to deal with these aliens and I look forward to that <laughs> FE series when we have to deal with them because that will be a lot of fun. Let's see, there's no diplomatic missions and stuff going on right now. I should have checked in serious sector, but oh well. La da dee, la da da, la da dee, la da da. We are flying in a starship through space. It is black, it is barren, there is no turning back. Here we are, now we go to and fro through this space, yo. We're almost there, can't you hear it? All I have to do is click and we'll be near it. <laughs> Ta-da! There you go, a custom song from me about flying in space made up totally on the spot <laughs> yeah that was pointless go to the Dara system um, where are you I forget Dara 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 you're way down there oh crap we got a long ways to fly well, we shall fly through the sky yes we will yeah that's all I got <laughs> on that one I don't want to think right now. Thinking hurts my brain molecules. 
my brain has decided to um, go on a vacation today. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him uh, relax. It's on a beach somewhere. It's getting some sun. Yeah, that's that's the, that's the excuse I'll go with. Mmm, this Starbucks coffee is good. Coffee. Hmm. We should probably come up with a space song. Because we do a lot of traveling through space, don't we? We need something to pass the time. Hmm. I'll have to think of something. Warp 10, here we go again. We are going fast. I've got 6.6 .6 million energy credits. And I'm up to 6,690 dilithium. All right. Oh, you know what? I should probably make sure that all my people are skilled up. Because I have not been doing a good job of that. And there definitely is room to grow there. That is so much better. Now I think they're all maxed out. Oh, it made one of my things disappear. I hate it when it does that. I don't know why it does that. Which one disappeared? Because that's going to bug me. I'm going to need it. Um, I, I bet that's the hazard emitters that disappeared. Yeah. Grr. Arg. Bug. Stupid game bug. That happens sometimes. You increase your skill settings and you'll find the icon disappears for no reason. Okay, we have to go. I was kind of went through that fast. Sorry about that. All right, we have to go modify an array. So the array is blinking over there. This is a little micro nebula where it, we drop out of our full impulse and we can't see anything. It's going to be a nice little hiding place here in a minute. So the first thing we do is go to this communications array. We're going to um, whoa, run into it. First, stop moving ship. This ship has such inertia. A retreat to the micronebula and send the distress signal to the Riemann base. So now after we do that, we go back to the nebula. And we can safely send a signal here without being detected. That's the whole point of this. I want to swing totally around. We Yeah, driving a galaxy class starship takes some skill, that's for sure. Alright, now we can send the signal. And we will watch as a Riemann ship comes to investigate. Oh, look, there I am. The Riemann scout ship is in range and it's moving to scan the area. Uh, we have a sensor lock on it and we'll be able to track it when it goes to warp, which is really cool. And there's a large energy buildup. And, oh crap, it's a Romulan battleship. And it's firing on the Riemann ship. The scout ship's weapons are damaged. The Riemanns are cloaking. The Riemanns are escaping. 
And now we have to deal with this big old baddie Romulan ship out here. Do not defy me. Do not. So what the heck kind of voice was that? Do not defy me. It was like some kind of weird Emperor Palpatine voice or something. Do not defy me. Yes, Buster. You will be a Jedi. Actually, you will be dead very soon. Die! Stupid Romulan. Who's using all kinds of powers on me. But ultimately, look at that, I'm still at 100%. That was awesome. Dang. I owned him. I own his butt. Follow the Riemann scout ship. Now we gotta follow the Riemanns. And you will have to use impulse to keep up with them. Full impulse. How can they not know that I'm here? Psst. Following them. My ship's a bit bigger than yours. Now what they're leading us into is going to be interesting. We will probably want to drop out of... Oops. Drop out of full impulse and let my power get back up to speed. I'm going to do now because I know what's coming up. So I'm going to drop out a full impulse so my power gets back up and now I can get to that thing over there and and there we go. guys are hard to uh, hard to defeat in a um, cruiser like this because they move so fast and I cannot move so fast there we go they turn really fast and I cannot turn very fast now we the Riemann escapes. And now I follow. And we are here. Uh, there's no ships, but blah, blah, blah. There is something interesting on the planet's surface. Sensors are detecting a large underground installation. It could be the base we're looking for. So let's beam down. And I get to take my whole brigade. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Find a way to enter the Riemann's ground ship. So basically the little beginning of this part is um, a little challenge for you. Again, this one has science, engineering, and tactical specific things to do. So in order to enter the base, you have to do your career thing. I'm an engineer, so I will be doing the engineering one. If you're tactical or science, you'll have to figure it out yourself. Sorry. And there are um, teddy bears to destroy here. Just like that. And all of a sudden, my 
sound went away. Very odd. Okay, and... One more. Okay, now we have to find the base entrance, which is over here, around here, and you will find this gate. We have to scan it, and we will find that it's made of a titanium alloy, and there's no way a hand weapon will blast through it. So we need something with a lot more power, so we need to use the mining laser to bust it open. And that's right here. So we're gonna go over to the console, back over here, and use the mining laser. Unfortunately, it's going to malfunction. And thus, gives us our options to fix it. First you have to scan it. And then it is now time to do the um, stuff. Engineering option, um, science option, or tactical option to fix it. So we have to do the engineering option. We need to use a diagnostic terminal. So first we do this. Um, we need to replace power conduits. So we need to repair power conduits, and there's three of them. And they're back here. One of them is right here. Now, as you enter these areas, you're going to get a new enemy never seen before. Little bitty spiders. There's Spider-Man when you need them. I hate spiders. Why does every new species we encounter try to kill us? Right? I mean, is he not right? Alright, so first we repair this power conduit. That's one. Now we just find the two others. And... Not there. But, there's one. One more power conduit. Which is over here. But we're gonna have some spiders! Now we can repair it. Repair. Cool, and there's my accolade mixed to fix it. Now we have to use the control panel to operate the mining laser. So the engineering one is probably one of the easiest ones. The science, you have to go collect samples and then do some kind of fusing or something of them, and the tactical one's a little different. Alright, now we can use the mining laser. Cool. That opened her up for us. Enter the Riemann base and locate Obisek. So we're looking for Obisek. Remember, he was the guy we met in the first episode who um, we met inside the vault. Now we're going to meet him face to face. And your bridge officers like to get stuck there, so just wait till they figure it out and come through. There you go. Now, even though this place is crawling with Remans, they will not attack you. You do not have to fight any of them. All you have to do right now is find Obisek. Um, they are Riemann resistance, but they're friendly to you. And some of them you can even talk to and hear about their situation. Like him. You can talk to him and he'll answer things for you. And there are several of them around like that. So really what we have to do is just go around until you come out in this area. And now we basically run around to the other side of it. And that's where you'll find Obisek. You can see on your mini-map 
where all the ones that have information icons are, so that you can talk to them if you wish. And, and the base is remarkable. The Remans must have disassembled an old ship and beam pieces of it. So basically, the base is one of their um, starships. It's one of their um, probably one of their battleships that they beamed pieces of down here and made it their base, which is really cool. If you think about it, if you're gonna make a base underground, why not just use your ship? Underground ship. All right, so here's Obasek, and as we go inside, it's gonna go to a cutscene, so I'll let that play. This place won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the... Ah, it's you. Welcome to the heart of the Resistance, little spy. There is so much for us to discuss, and so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this, our last refuge. They will be here soon, and my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend, or our enemy? So this is very, very cool. This is a first in Star Trek Online. We're, go we're given a choice. We can be his friend or his enemy. You can either be on Obasek's side or you can be against him. Um, I wish it had more lasting uh, consequences, but for this episode, uh, you basically have two options. You can fight him and his resistance, or you can help him escape and fight the Romulans. Um, that's basically it. There are two different accolades for doing both of them, so it, you can do it one way and then replay it and do it the other way, and there are two accolades. So, if you want to replay it, that's a good idea. So first we have to go up to him and talk to him. My hope is that you are here to talk, but I am prepared for the alternative. The Tal Shiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. So basically, going through all these options, um, all these things where you talk to him is where you learn about what's going on in the story. So this is the integral, important part of this storyline mission. You will want to read all these options. Why are, um, why are you doing this? Why fight the Tal Shiar? Why? You ask why? This place is one of the last sanctuaries left to my people. And even it is lost to us now. The Romulans have driven us from our homes, destroyed our ships, and captured or killed our loved ones. They seek to exterminate us, and we will not go quietly. So they really have it in for the Romulans. They hate the Romulans. Understand, I do not want this war. I want freedom for my people. It is the Romulans and the Dark Masters Dark they masters. serve who have caused this. Now they must suffer the consequences. There's one of your first hints to the people behind this, the Dark Masters. Is there anything else you wish to ask? I did see the order This campaign attacks. of terror is the Tal Shiar. Is there Read anything that. else you wish to ask? Why do you think the Tal Shiar are doing this? Hakiv and the Tal Shiar no longer serve the Empire. Here's the demons clip. of air and darkness are their masters now. They whisper in the night for chaos and despair. And Hakiv gives them blood as tribute. Our blood. This is a big clue for who the um, aliens are. The demons of air and darkness. Um, as soon as I read that, I knew exactly who it was talking about. If you don't know yet, I won't spoil it, but the demons of air and darkness. Very, very cool reference there. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Tell me more about these demons. I have never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name, but I know they exist. Eons ago, they ruled this part of the galaxy. After thousands of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. We were wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive, and they hunger for revenge. So that's a really big clue as to who Is they there are anything right there. else you wish to ask? Um, the only problem, of course, that we would have with Obasek is the fact that he's using Thaloran weapons. A small supply. They are terrible things. Weapons of war so horrible, they should have never been invented at all. But they were. And my enemies are great. If I must resort to barbarism to free my people, 
That is not too high of a price so to pay. He's willing to use Thaleron weapons. So some people have sided against him just based on that fact alone. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Have you tried to There find will a be no solution? peace. Not while Hakiv lives. This is not a problem that can be solved by diplomacy. So is there anything is else you wish the to bad ask? Bad dude, really. What do you want from me? We need your help. Talk to Starfleet Command. Tell them what you have seen. Tell them if my people are to survive, we need assistance. He's actually Starship, for soldiers, help here. medicine, protection for the refugees. I'm asking for the Federation's aid. You claim to be an organization dedicated to freedom for all peoples. Tell me, will you help my people? Is there anything else you wish so to he, ask? He's pleading for help. He may be going about it the wrong way, but he's actually not a bad dude. Um, so you can decide, of course, which way you want to go. Me, uh, I'm going to go with, I may not agree with your tactics, but I will not stop you. I'm, I'm gonna be on Obasek's side here. I am glad you see things my way. Get instructions from your commanders if you must, but the battle rages and we must join it. With your help, my people will be free. Side with Obasek. I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great- Sir, Romulan transporter signals detected. I will return to my ship and attempt to hold off their forces. Help my soldiers defend this base. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. The Tal Shiar have entered the base. Commander Roshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new ally. Security forces transporting. So now we're on their side and we're fight going well, to... Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. We're going to help them fight the Romulans on this space so we can escape. Locate and disable the transport inhibitor. So once we come out of this door, um, we get some we get some Riemann resistance helpers. But once we come out of this door, we are fighting Romulans. to go all the way around to the other side. Unfortunately, in doing so, we're going to run into Romulans. But I have a really good support group here. And I'm on fire. Okay, that's all I pretty much need to do. Now we disable the transport inhibitor. And we got our accolade, like-minded. And now we return to our ship. And we're done. With that mission, anyway. If you choose the other option, the um, secret accolade you have to do is you have to beam up 15 prisoners. Unfor 15 I Riemann sympathize with yeah, 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 but, free, uh, 15 Riemann prisoners. Unfortunately, there aren't enough to do the first time. You have to replay the mission in order to get enough to get the actual accolade. So doing it the other way means you having to replay the mission to get the accolade, if you want the accolade. All right, now we can turn I this in. I sympathize with Obasek's plight, we'll but I do not the, know uh, if we will be able to assist him. And that's it. That is... My contacts frozen. tell me that stuff. And the next mission is Colosseum. And um, you're going to find that to be a lot of fun. So I hope you stay tuned for that. That mission will be pretty awesome. Alright, so I will see you all for Coliseum.